Besides working for the Telluride Institute, I'm also a bus driver of the Greasy Goose. We're gonna drive up the Lizardhead Pass, and then local mushroom specialist and herb walker, John Sir Jesse, is gonna guide us on a foray to see if we can find some mushrooms. I like to make the analogy, pulling a mushroom out of the ground is like picking an apple by breaking off the branch that it's growing on. It doesn't kill the tree, but it doesn't help it. So it's really best to cut the mushroom off right at ground level. Not only does that protect the underground mycelium, but it also makes the mushroom cleaner. And that's the main body of a mushroom, is the mycelium. I hope you all have some sort of mushroom knife. This is, this is one of the best. I like these, uh, these new bags all the markets are starting to carry. So here's a fun little mushroom. Most people don't even believe this is a mushroom. Don't forget what mushroom really is. M mushroom is a fruiting body of an underground fungi. Fungi don't all produce mushrooms. It's actually edible. And uh, when you cook it up crispy, fried in a little butter, lightly salted, tastes like bacon. So we've got our first bolete here. It's hiding by this rock. One of the things you'll notice about boletes is the, um, the color variation. It's not always a perfect brick red. So look how, I don't know if you can hear that. It's a nice firm bolete. It's a small one, they get much bigger than that. One of the things you notice about boletes, the whole family has, has tubes here on the bottom instead of gills. And the tubes are where the spores are made, just like they're made on the gills of a regular mushroom. Many times the top of the mushroom is not as brightly colored as the bottom. Look at this one here, it's kind of faded out. So you turn it over, it should smell like apricot. It smells really good, yes. I was surprised. It has the color and, and, and smell of apricot, and if you taste, can raw I, chanterelle, can, can it taste peppery. Can I nibble a bit of your chanterelle? And they're not true gills on a chanterelle. A true gill looks like a sheet of paper on edge. The most deadly mushrooms in the world is the destroying angel, the death cap. They're both amanitas. Um, they kill you by destroying your liver. You know, the things you need to remember on this, to know you've got a hot wing, is the scales have to be dark brown on the cap. It has to have the teeth on the bottom. It needs to be cooked well. So cook them, slice them thin, uh, fry them up in butter, olive oil. Look at this one big one down here. These are shrimp rustulas. You notice how bright red the caps are? You've got yellow, you've even got some greenish shoes in there. You've got red and pink and tan. Warning, mushroom picking can become addictive. And one of the hardest things about picking mushrooms is stopping. 